Hey guys, Crazy Man here again with another episode of Terra Firma Craft. And as you see, we have six wrought iron double ingots here, and two wrought iron ingots here, which we can weld together to get our last one wrought iron double ingot. And also, I have been thinking a lot about how much you guys are actually watching these videos, and I've realized you're only watching like for like four minutes, sometimes not even that. So I've decided that, oh crap, <laughs> I've decided that I'm going to start making my videos a lot shorter. Instead of in the 30 to 40 minute range, I'm going with a little bit of a probably 8 minute videos. Because I really want you guys to watch them, and I really like making longer videos, but you guys just don't seem to watch them. So. Whatever. But I hope you guys still enjoy it, even with shorter videos. But we are finally able to do something I've been waiting to do for a long time. Okay, first though, let's get this pickaxe. I need a punch as my last thing, and I need a bend and a draw. So I'm going to upset, bend, draw, uh, no, not quite. Bend, draw, punch. Perfect! Yes! My first wrought iron pickaxe head, and it's perfect. Or not. Where'd it go? Oh, that was scary. It just disappeared. All that work, and it disappears. Wrought iron pickaxe. Wow. Yeah, that does almost as much damage as my copper mace. Yeah, imagine what it's going to be like when we get a... Uh, when we get a mace for that. Speaking of which, let's get a mace for that. <laughs> we'll heat up this wrought iron in here and just leave this in here to stay hot. Fill it with more coal. And when that heats up, we'll get another mace. But first, let's see how fast this thing is. I cannot wait. And dig! Oh my gosh, that is so much faster. Wow. Just for a comparison, that seems slow, but look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, that's definitely faster. Oh, and I broke the staircase. Oh well. We can fix it later. I love how this stone can just float. It's one of the few floaty blocks. But yes, wrought iron anvil. I am so happy to have that now. Well, now that we've done that, I think I am going to skip a little bit and come back when this iron ingot is cooked up and ready to go. Hey guys, we are back and we just got our wrought iron double ingot, and I'm going to make a mace. Actually, you know what? I want a sword, so we're going to go with that. Because I've been using the mace for a while, and I think I would prefer a sword. So we're going to get this pattern here for a sword blade. I actually had that one memorized. What do you know? That makes one pattern. So throw it in here, and we're going to want two bends and a hit as our last thing. So we're going to shrink, 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 upset, and then we're going to bend, bend, and that looks like a medium hit. There we go, wrought iron sword blade. And our copper mace does 165 damage, and this does 240 slashing damage. So that is going to be very useful. Oh yes, wrought iron sword. We are moving up in this world. So I think I'm going to go battle some mobs now. Ooh, or actually, what I could do is start working on armor. I think this is the chest plate pattern here. No? No? What was it? Crap. I don't remember. Nah. Whatever. No matter. We can get the boots pattern, I think. Somehow. With things. Pants, I know. That's just... 
Yes. Plate greaves. So we can get some pants. We can get a helmet. Plate helmet. That's all the marking we have. Wow. We may need another container for these things. Yeah, we are out of space now. They need to give you more space for plans. But pretty soon I am going to make me uh, some armor. Because we could really use it. Because getting beat up is no fun. And we've died a lot. But I think I'm going to go show off my new sword. 240 damage. That is so awesome. I should be able to kill zombies in like 4 hits now. Uh, let's come over to the food chest. And... Tons of wheat grain, but uh, I don't really like wheat grain. doesn't do all that much. Okay, that is a cool meal. Potatoes. Mm, okay, meal. And I think I'm just going to have to grab some soybeans. They're slow eating, but eh, I have lots of them. So I will go down into the mines and show off my new sword. So see you then. Okay, here we are heading down into our mine. There's the coal vein over there. That thing is huge. But I think we are finally going to get revenge on Mr. Tim for tormenting us all of these days. Okay, stand behind the pillar. Come on, don't shoot me yet. And whack him with it. Whack him with my new sword. And get destroyed, apparently. Oh my gosh, there's like five of them. This is a horrible idea. Oh, everything always goes badly when I try to battle mobs. Oh, fall in a pit and die some more. Sounds like a great plan. Okay, up here. Am I safe here? For now? Crap, there's the Tims. Okay, okay, I can do this. It's time for battle. Beat him up, beat him up, take that armor. Oh, well, yeah, it doesn't go so well when you have no armor. They still outmatch me because they have good weapons and armor, but eh, what can you do? So I will figure out what we're going to do next and be right back. Okay, one thing I just wanted to show off real quick. You might see that I made a shovel, or rather I did not make a shovel. This is a wrought iron pickaxe, right? And this is a wrought iron sword. This is just an iron shovel, and look at that, three attack damage, 137. 165. Even the copper pick has 67. This is a vanilla iron shovel. You might be wondering, how did you get that, crazy man? You can't craft vanilla shovels in this game. Well, I can. No, I, I'm kidding. I can't. But zombies can, apparently. And they drop them for me, because they're really nice. And I got this from a zombie. Unfortunately, it's just as good as the copper shovel. It's not super fast. But, eh, it's cool nonetheless, and I think I'm going to frame it. Getting a little bit of lag there on my water jug. Yeah, I definitely think I'm going to frame this iron shovel, because that is just awesome. So, I think I'm going to go check on the farm, because we probably have quite a bit of food stocked up in there. And, uh, do I have a scythe on me? No, I should go make a scythe. I'm going to just take the run back. And also, I think one thing I really want to do is pretty up this road, because we've been doing a lot with technology and stuff, moving up the tech tree in terms of getting iron and bronze and stuff. But we do not have much in the way of prettiness. Like, this base looks nice. I mean, it's got the tool board and stuff, and some stacked chests and some barrels. I don't know. The smelting corner. But... Nothing else really looks that good. We've got the forest and like a trail of torches. So I think I'm going to work on prettying that up probably next episode because I think this is uh, running a little long for the time schedule I planned out to have. So yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if I should keep doing the shorter episodes or if you preferred the longer ones. Seeing as how only a few people watched them when they were really long. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a weirdo, because I enjoy hour-long videos when I watch stuff on YouTube. So, 
I'm rambling again, which is making the video longer, which is making you want to go do something else. So I will let you go do something else. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, go ahead and give it a, well, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to ask for likes. If you liked it, you'll like, it. you'll hit the like button, but I don't need to ask for that. So uh, until next time, have fun and take it easy.